Hi guys! So, I'm just having kind of a loopy day, and I felt like I should just share that with you all. Um, I was inspired because I told Heather um, that I would make a video of me dancing like a maniac around my apartment, and I do not know if I will be able to accomplish that in this particular snippet of my life, but yeah, it just, you, should, you should watch just in case I do end up doing that. Um, there's some new and exciting developments going on in my life right now, one of which, you may have seen my post about this, this is fantastic little book right here. Look at that! It's so cool! I'm gonna learn how to play some Zelda on my keyboard, which is there. Hi, keyboard! Yeah. My dad got that for me for Christmas. It was... Christmas was a while ago, but yeah, in our family we're just, uh... We're on Asgard time, and that's apparently a little bit later than most people. I have no particular reason for being as cracked out as I am right now. I think I'm just excited. I have a friend coming over later, which is really exciting. Yay, out of town friends. Woo! Okay. Um, other exciting things that I want to show you guys, but you can't tell my wife. Okay. Oh, by the way, so if you didn't know, I have a wife. Her name is Emily. And she cooks for me because I will live on egg whites and steamed vegetables. Like the kind that you put in the microwave for five minutes. Not like I wouldn't actually use a steamer. <laughs> Don't be silly. Um, and smoothies. That's what I live on. Like, literally. I just went shopping, right? Because I haven't had to like go grocery shopping for two weeks because she hasn't been here. And I literally bought ingredients for smoothies and eggs. That's it. Oh, and grapefruit. Really like grapefruit. Mm -hmm. So yeah, anyway, so she's coming back tomorrow. She's supposed to be here tonight, which I'm devastated because her plane got delayed. This is why I moved from New York. Fuck snow, okay? That's all I'm saying. I don't care how Nordic I'm supposed to be. Fuck snow. Anyways, but I got her this present, and I'm assuming she probably won't watch this video because she doesn't tend to watch my videos. Look at this thing. Ah! So, well, before I show you this, I went to this thing called War. It's where um, the Estrella War, it's here in Arizona, people dress up like knights in shining armor and they beat each other with swords. It's so exciting. So I went last weekend. It was really great. Um, I also went to the Renaissance Festival this weekend. If I didn't have enough opportunities to wear my metal bra, I found some. And while I was at war, I discovered this neat thing. Whoa! Look at this! That's a cow spine! <laughs> like, it's a spine! It's like as big as me. That's so exciting. Look at that. And it goes very nicely on my coffee table. Okay, you ready? I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna put you down for a second. Here we go. See? Spine. On my coffee table. I mean, how classy does that look? That. Who wouldn't want to sit on that couch? Also, exciting things for you guys. Emily is also somebody who uh, decorates for me because if you allow me to decorate well, before she came I had a bin full of clothing as my table, my kitchen table and coffee table, in front of my couch that had no like accent pillows or anything. We now have um, valence, valences on our windows, yes. We have cute pillows on our couch. How exciting is this? I mean, look at this. It's a mermaid pillow. How many people have that? It's a pillow with a rib cage on it. How many people have that? It's a leather pillow. Yeah. It's leather. Leather, because she's cool like that. Um, other neat stuff that I think you guys would like in my apartment that is now cute because Emily lives here. Um, so we have this nice little bookshelf, see, behind me? Oh, look at the bookshelf. Oh, so nice. Look at all my weapons. Oh, yeah. My bucket of weapons. I was there before Emily. She's a great wife, though. She's not trying to make me get rid of my toys or anything. Um, nah, yeah, there's some cute stuff in the bedroom, but you don't need to see that. Um, other exciting things that are happening. Okay, so I would like to talk to you guys about holidays, okay? St. Patrick's Day is a holiday, and so it needs to be celebrated. Now, I understand the whole holidays, consumerism, fucking academic bullshit, if that's how you want to look at life and be just a party pooper for everybody. But, I have not taken the mentality that all holidays should be celebrated as obnoxiously and as fun as possible. So, 
for St. Patrick's Day this year, I'm going to get those little antenna with the little like four leaf clovers on them. I'm going to get those. I'm going to wear them for like four days because I can like a leprechaun. I think I'm also going to get some green knee high socks and wear that with like a skirt and like a cute like green shirt. Oh, I found this shirt in a stripper store the other day that says Lucky Charms and it's got the little clovers on the Lucky Charms. It's really cute. Ah! But yeah, I'm going to do something for St. Patrick's Day, which is the first time ever in my entire life I've ever celebrated St. Patrick's Day. So I'm going to do it and I'm going to do it right. Yes. So that was, those are exciting things. Anyway, feeling a little bit spazzy today. I felt like I should just share that. I know I've been promising to make more videos and failing epically. You guys have to understand something. It's not that I don't like doing this stuff, I just don't think about doing it. You just have to like fucking bug me about it until I do, if that's what you really want. Maybe <laughs> you don't give a shit about my life. But if you're at this point in the video and you don't give a shit about my life, then I'm not really sure what you're doing here. Um, so anyway, share with me your St. Patrick's Day plans and hopefully I'll find some funny ones. You know, really appropriately, I should probably ask you to respond to this video after St. Patrick's Day and let me know what you actually ended up doing and how blasted you guys all got. That's my plan. Just getting probably pretty wasted. Actually, no, I plan on playing chess and tabletop games. Um, that's about it. Yeah. There's so many other exciting things, I'm sure. I don't make another video if I think of them, but yeah. My spine, I had to show you that. My Legend of Zelda playbook, because <laughs> that's fucking awesome. Um, and my cute little apartment, that's becoming cuter because I now have a wife. Um, and I, you know what, I'm not gonna define that for you guys. I'm not. I'm gonna just let you wonder. I'm not really gonna bother explaining, so. Hope that doesn't hurt anyone's feelings. Um, I mean, I also have, like, you know girlfriends and boyfriends and cats and gremlins and minions and things like that. So I think that, you know, there isn't just one person who can satisfy all the needs in your life. Sometimes you just need a gremlin. 